welcome back to the channel. We are Indian Siblings. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make a, a screen change color when you click a button and, and how to make a button shake around this whole screen and change its font color. So let's get started. So here's the app that I'm using. It's called code.org and you need to be signed up so you can use this thing called App Lab. And the language they use of coding is JavaScript. So we're gonna start with going to UI controls and putting in an on event block. And then we're gonna go to design over here. Then we're gonna take a button and then drag it over here like this. And then I'm just gonna change the text and write down, click me. Click me. You can add spaces, so. And then you can change the color, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change like the default thing. Over here you can see default, so you can see over here the things. And I want to see Peachy. Ooh, Peachy looks cool. And let's try under the sea. Mm, blue and gold. Yeah, that's good. Now, if we go to code, we need to see the ID of our button. The ID of our button is button 1. As you can see, it's written ID, button 1. So, you type in or select button 1. Now, if you click it, we can, um, so we want, it, we want to click it. Now, we're going to take a block on controls over here uh, called time loop. Here, time loop, it's right here. Put it right here and change the thousand to a hundred. If you were to shorten text, just I don't you shouldn't type it. But here's how it look if you put it in text. And and in that loop we need to we need to add a set property button. So I'll just change it back to blocks here. Set property. Uh it's down here somewhere. Set property ID here like this. And then you can just type it if you would like. Here, ID, screen one. As the ID of our uh, phone is screen one. So we will type in screen one. And then we wanted to change its background color. Uh, I'll just go into the block so we can just select the drop down list. And you can choose any color you want. Uh, but you can't use rainbow because it's not a color. So I'm just gonna take is cyan there. That look cool. Okay. So now, as you can see, when we were to click the button, the screen will become cyan. I want the screen to become black. Let's try it black. You can also do the same thing if you did the text. Uh, click run and we'll click and it became black so here's how you change the color of the screen but now we're gonna go ahead into design and we're gonna put in a label so uh look for the label it's just text text input one no we don't need this let's just delete that here we need this ABC thing. That's a labor label. Now I'm gonna type in my name as my name is Arnav Kapoor, but I'm just gonna type in my first name. You can type your full name if you would like. And what's the ID? Our ID is label one. You can change the ID if it's too hard for you to remember. So I'm just gonna keep it as label one. And you can change the text color and the background color. But I like this a lot, so let's go on to code. And now we will take another set property. Uh, I'm going to try typing here. Just like set property. Take a set property. 
this is a uh, wrong set property here. Let's just take box for now. Set property and. Okay, so now that we have changed label one, I mean screen one. So let's actually put this one over here. And now, as we know, this is label one because this. So what we're going to do next is as we change screen color, we made its background change. But wouldn't it be cool if the computer chose the colors for us? Wouldn't that be cool, guys? Let's try this. So what you're going to do is go to UI controls and take... So wouldn't it be like as I said, it, it wouldn't wouldn't it be cool if the computer or like the phone chose the color when we click this button? That would be awesome, right guys? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go on to UI controls and we're gonna move on and take this RBG and we're gonna put it on the color since I wrote black, we can just put that over there. The R stands for red, the green stands for G, and I mean the G stands for, for green, and the B stands for blue. So it says that red is 250, green is 0, and blue is 75. And this function will change later. So now that we have this, we're going to go ahead into math and take random number we're gonna put it in these three inputs here here oops guys we're not gonna put it there uh we're gonna put it in these inputs here uh no, don't put it in here put it in the rbg uh the three inputs on rbg don't put the one that has 0 0.5 because we're gonna be changing that value change the value to 0 0.8 of the uh, last one which we didn't put the random number in now put this to 0 and 225 as the last uh, I mean 255 255 uh, 0 to 255 in each one zero to 255 and then 0 0.8 which we put now if you were to try this uh, and if you were to click click me as you can see the color of the screen is changing really really fast as you can see it's changing super fast and it's like going in a rainbow isn't that crazy guys now, if you want it to be more fun, we can make our move change, like we can make our name move everywhere. Want to check it out? Then let's do the code. What we're going to do is we're going to take another set property here. Mm, set property and put it above this one. Above, not bottom, above. And then we're going to take another one and put it below it. So over here on that top one, we need to type in the ID label 11. I Let's just type it in. Uh, don't make a spelling mistake, otherwise I'll count it as wrong code. So just you can select it from down there if you want. Now let's first let's make it change the text color here. So uh, text color. And we can... Uh, now, if you wanted, like, one color, you can keep it, like, you can just type in your color. But I want the computer to choose for us. So I'm going to keep that here. The RBGs, we're going to put in the same thing of the RBG. We're going to do the same thing. So let's take a RBG here, red, green, blue. And then over here, we're going to type in one as the last, the fourth input. We're going to put a one. Now... Go ahead to math, math here. Up. Oh. Uh, math, math. Okay, here. Ooh, what just happened? 
here. Math, you're going to put random numbers. Your random number, random number. Random number. Now here, you would type in 0 and 225. 255, like you did last time. There. And lastly, we put a 1. Now, if you were to try this and we click click me, our text font is changing. Oops, it's saying we put... Oh, okay, first let's just remove this for now. It's saying there's an error if we don't put it. If we put it, yeah, so that's why it's saying there's an error. So that if you click me, our te text font, I mean like color is changing, like text color is changing, and the screen color is changing too. Now, now let's see. Uh, now we're gonna add a set position, okay? Set position, so it's gonna set position. We'll tell it where to like go all around. So we let's take a set position here. Now we know the ID of our name is label one here, so label one. Then let's change the inputs, these these two, the zero zero into a uh, go to math and put random number in these two. It'll look like this in text. And then over here you put forty to two thirty. Forty. And then over here you put two thirty. Same thing for this one. No, wait. We're gonna have to check uh, what's. Oh, we're working. Uh, and then we're over here, we'll put 70 and 350. 350. And we can change this to 120, and then we'll put this a 40. That's what we do. Now we're gonna go into UI controls again. And we're gonna take a hide element. So I'll just uh, hide element. That is not the right spot. <laughs> As you can see, I'm not really that good at typing it in. So I usually just use blocks. Hide element here, over here. And you would type in button one. So here we are gonna type in, or we can just select button one. Now let's check it out. Click me. Oh my God. But there's one problem that we have. This is becoming too big here. So let's make these this number a little smaller. I think let's try 30 to up. Guys, as you can see, we added a hide element button one here, as this is our button one, and then here we added a random number. So we added a set position label one, which is our name. Then we added a random number, oh, a random number in these two inputs, 40 to 230 and 70 to 350. Then here is 68 and 22, as that's the height of our name here. We were to go to design, the width is 68 and the height is 22. And the last block we put was hide element, button one. When we click this, this is gonna hide and the screen screen color is gonna change and our text is gonna change on our name and our name is gonna be going all over the screen. Check it out. So guys, if you want to share this and surprise someone with this code, you can write down for their birthday, you can just write down happy birthday if you would like. And then, and then in order to share it to their phone, you need to go on share and then click on send to phone. And then you can write down their phone number and then you can click send. It's going to go 
on their, their phone and then they can see it. And they can also see the code in text mode or in blocks mode. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you learned how to code this, then don't forget to like and subscribe. See you soon. Bye. Special for our mom. Wow. Wanna see that next picture? Look at that. Look at that.